If I wanted to make changes to multiple cells, I would click and drag to select all of the cells that I'm wanting to make changes to. I've selected all of these cells here, so I see I am selecting cells A1 through E6. And so I can go through and I can change the font. I could change the font size. I could make them bold or italicized, strike through. I can change the text color as well as the fill color. If I wanted to have borders, I could choose, do I want all of them or set ones? And then what kind of border color and border type? So if I chose just the outside and maybe let's make it orange, it's really hard to see that. So I will select, I'll change the border size to be thicker and apply it again. So now we have a thick orange border around blue cells with white text. I could have the horizontal alignment that is left and right be centered. I could change the vertical alignment. So like on rows one and two, especially the cell height the row height is more than the font size, so it's currently bottom aligned, so it's on the bottom of the cell. I could choose to have it in the middle or at the top of the cell. And we do see it's moving the text below, which does mean that there is extra space in that in those cells as well. I think I'll leave it middle. If there was more text than the amount of space, we could deal with the wrapping. That's unnecessary. We could choose to have text rotated differently. So something like that, it's not going to work out well because there's not enough space. So I'll just leave it as normal. Of course, we could create links, add comments. We will look later at adding charts. There's also filters and functions 